Bring the news at 5.30. Students at SUNY Fredonia are pounding the pavement this afternoon. They're protesting a number of programs that are on the chopping block. They're calling on the university to fairly fund all programs. Our Dylan Morello has more on this. Dylan? Well, Jackie, back in December, SUNY Fredonia announced that they would be cutting 13 low enrollment degree programs, a change that was spurred by a $10 million deficit. Well, today, students gathered in protest of that change. Students cut, for cut, Fredonia, cut, cut, which was formed following the announcement made by school president Stephen Colson, gathered today at the entrance of Fenton Hall, marching on campus and to downtown Fredonia. According to the group, they are fighting for increased and fair funding from SUNY and for transparency from the college that still has not released any figures that show cost savings by cutting these programs. According to the school, the affected programs represent 15 percent of all Fredonia majors with a total enrollment of 74 students. That's 2 percent of all of the school's undergraduates. Liberal arts, our humanities, our art programs are what make up Fredonia. And by taking them away, it's kind of depleting the community, leaving a, an irreversible scar on our campus and just inevitably de depleting the morale of our students in those majors and that take classes within those departments. Now, the protest featured sculpture students wearing their art, music students playing instruments, along with various signs and chants. Prior to today, the school did ensure that current students within the programs can complete their degrees and graduate. Our website has a list of all 13 of those programs. Now, at this time, we have reached out to multiple school leaders for a statement on the cuts and the protests today, but have yet to hear back. Reporting in the studio, Dylan Morello, News 4.